75% of all the wealth of the UK and America is owned by those over the age of 65. And you know, of course, that the most important characteristic of those over the age of 65 in India, in Indonesia, in Thailand, in Australia, in America, in France, the most important characteristic of all those over the age of 65 is this. 65% of 65-year-olds are women. 75% of 75-year-olds are women, and 85% of 85-year-olds are women, and 180% of 100-year-olds are women. Now, if you have done the math so far, you will understand something, which is that the whole of America, most of America, most of America, and most of the UK is owned by very old women. Now, although I'm laughing a bit, this is significant. Huge wealth in an older age groups, mainly female. In Europe, in Australia, New Zealand, America, and I suspect in Delhi too, most of the online bank accounts that are opened each week are opened by men. But almost all the actual money that's used to pay bills are paid by women. So the women are ruling the online world. In fact, uh, women in most countries buy most of the life insurance policies online. They buy most of the books on Amazon. They book most of the online holidays. They, book most, they buy most of the groceries. In fact, I don't know what men do online. <laughs> Let's pass on. Actually, if you're looking for a new market, you could look at women over the age of 90 in Italy because there will be one million of them waiting for your services by 2026. But more importantly, these 90-year-old women will fix the results of every election for the, for, the, for the foreseeable future. Can you imagine that? And the same is happening in Germany, Spain, Portugal, and China. Fascinating. You might say, well, China doesn't have a, an election system like India's. I know. I'm just saying things are changing. In fact, demographics, demographics, my friends, is the biggest key to understanding explosive new markets and major challenges for the future.